Hey guys, Tobro here. Um, today I'm going to show you what I have on my tow truck for equipment, what I have in my toolboxes, and why. And hopefully you can pick up a few things, because these are things I use pretty much every day while towing. So without further ado, let me get everything out of the boxes and get it done. All right, you guys. So here's what we have. I just emptied out my toolboxes. Um, so let's start right here. So here's a uh, Duralast two and a half inch ton capacity floor jack. Um, this can come useful many, many ways. Tire changes, you know, things like that. You got to jack up a vehicle, put a wood block under it um, or something like that. Very useful piece, very cheap to have. And it will save you in the long run hundreds and hundreds of times. So moving on, just various pieces of wood blocks. Um, you know, they come in useful for lower cars or, you know, cars with blown ball joints or control arms or anything. You know, the car doesn't have wheels. You can jack it up, put a wood block under it and then winch it up on your truck. Crash wrap for vehicles and accidents. Um, you know, you got to tape a window shut, tape panels back together or anything. Always have that on hand. Right here is Speedy Dry for accidents. Um, you know, we are responsible after towing a vehicle from an accident to clean up any spilled materials, um, coolant, engine oil, fuel, things like that. Triangles, um, safety triangles. These are just convenient to have. They just fold up like that. And just leave them on the side of the road. I always have at least two. Uh, this is just an oversized flag right here. Uh, if I'm hauling a con shipping container or something and it's, you know, off the back of my truck, um, I like to just hang that on the end of it. And, you know, here's just useful things. Small fire extinguisher, first aid kits, and a Hornet killer, of course. Very good to have. We also keep a full-size fire extinguisher inside at all times. These are lasso straps for the wheel lift. I'll we'll obviously have two. Um, this is just pretty much an extra, um, really just everything I use for recoveries. It's got, you know, hooks, bunch of hooks in there, tree saber right here. <clears throat> and yeah, here we have edge protectors for cargoes. Uh, such as toolboxes or anything with a sharp edge, try to save the strap and save the cargo. Highly recommend picking these up. They're really cheap. Some of them are like a dollar or two dollars each. Highly recommend those. So now let's go check out what I have in the other toolbox. Um, as far as the tow truck bed, of course, you know, I just have the regular, regular straps with the dog bones all the way around. So the driver's side of the tow truck, those toolboxes obviously will be accessed first. So I like to keep items such as tools, things that, you know, I'll need to get out of my truck and jump over and immediately grab, you know, craftsman toolkit. Right here is a uh, large socket set, three quarter inch socket set. Got the uh, impact gun, tire changes and things like that. Miscellaneous tools, hammers, stuff for drive shafts. We have a small gas can. Right here is a tire inflator. Highly recommend having that. And here are skates instead of four skates. Uh, if you do not know what these are for or how to use them, I will be making a video shortly on how to use a set of skates. Wheel chuck for, you know, dirt, gravel, things like that. That is not a rubber wheel chuck like this one. And chains and binders. Um, I, you know, don't have a lot of room in these toolboxes, so I only keep two, uh, two sets. I mean, well, one set of two um, in the box at all times. Uh, people, when they're hauling equipment such as tractors, uh, they will just use the winch tie down. You know, they'll hook the winch up to the piece of equipment and put chains on the back and tie it down. I do that, but I also like to use chains and binders to make it a little more safe for everyone. Right here is a cool tool I have to uh, pull chains through. If I'm on the other side of the truck and I got to grab a chain, you just link it through and pull it. Saves you from crawling around on your truck. So here we have a three ton jack stand. 
comes in handy for a lot of things. A uh, snatch block also comes in handy. Just a one inch strap, I use that for hoods that don't shut, things like that, doors that don't close, and soap. So out of everything on this truck, this right here is most likely one of my favorite tools. Um, I use that soap for, you know, vehicles, the, it's stuck in park. You know, they don't wanna roll off your truck, throw some soap down on the bed, and it'll just glide right off most of the time, but that's what we can try, try to hope for. Uh, fuel treatment, extra coolant, you never know, random stuff I have. Zip ties and a two inch ball uh, for the wheel lift for trailers. I have a two and five sixteenths on here, but I have the two inch that can swap over at any time. Uh, I also have a jump pack that is inside getting charged, but that is what I hold on my truck at all times. Here is three 27 foot straps, highly recommend longer straps. Uh, they just come in handy. Uh, you never know when you'll need them. When you need them, you will wish you had them. They don't take up a lot of space, so I just always got them on hand. And we also got these axle straps right here. Uh, these come in handy for low vehicles where you don't want to put hooks on the control arms. The hooks will come up and smash the bumper um, or anything like that. Or if you need an easy tie down point for the rear axles on trucks or cars, uh, these always carry two on me very useful and uh, these little guys right here um, I think they're called J hooks so I did have four I don't know why I only have three but these come in handy because every vehicle has numerous pockets for these so you can use them for a whole bunch of different ways um, as tie down points or winch points or recovery points and these are very useful to have because you can just take a regular ratchet and just connect it right to it. Either side of the ratchet and it helps greatly. And Millie agrees. All right, you guys, well, that is a look into the items I have on my tow truck. Obviously, you know, you don't know what calls you're gonna get when you're out on the road calls you get at your shop you can be more prepared for you know you can keep things in your shop that you'll need like a whole bunch of straps chains things like that um, when you're out on the road you don't know what you're going to need so that is uh, everything i hold on my truck every day for various calls that could happen so all right guys hope you enjoyed that got a couple tips and information and have a good one